It's heavier meat and eat it too, but you'll have to cook it first. Today, Keith tries the world of Asian hot pot. Today on Wrangle's Angle. All right, so today I'm gonna try hot pot for the very first time. Now, if you don't know what that is, it's an Asian dish where they give you a big boiling pot of soup and basically cook the stuff they serve around you in the pot. That's why they call it hot pot. This is a hot pot too, but that's probably not why you clicked on this video. And while there are a decent amount of hot pot places here in the Chicago land area, we're gonna go to a place that does it a little differently because it makes for a better video. That, and I want my first time to be special. <laughs> Shabu Plus Rotary is an Asian hot pot restaurant in the Wicker Park neighborhood of Chicago. Their all-you-can-eat hot pot is a big deal, but it's the way they serve it that makes it an even bigger deal. Of course, the idea of looking for parking in Chicago gives Keith anxiety. Luckily, he reserved a parking space online. He just had to drive through a street alley to find it. So here I am parking inside this alley right here. I guess the worst part is that if I get beat up by someone, no one's gonna see it. <laughs> But I'm too hungry to worry about that. Let's go. So here we are in Wicker Park on our quest for some good hot pot. Now while walking, I saw some other good food options, but tried not to forget what we came here for. All you can eat hot pot. Keith also saw this sign looking for a lead singer for a rock band, but Keith's pretty well invested in this Wrangle Zangle thing, so that's not gonna work out. Then I saw this really bougie dentist office. Oh, I'm sorry, dental studio. But we finally reached our destination for lunch. Shabu Plus. So let's walk inside. Of course they mentioned the conveyor belt and the over 60 things you'll find on it. But let's talk about the course options, which can include chicken, beef, shrimp, and even a special dessert. Of course I came all the way here, so I want the whole kid and caboodle baby featuring everything available. Oh yeah. But of course, we have to think about what broth we'd like to cook our food in, and whether we're gonna finish eating in under an hour to get 15% off. So that's how they trick you. <laughs> I'll take my whole 90 minutes, thank you. So there's the hot pots and that conveyor belt, and all this excitement makes me have to use the bathroom. Luckily, it was right in front of me. And just like that, we're ready to get started. For the base that we'll be cooking our items in, I ordered sukiyaki broth for its sweet and salty flavor. Now while we let that cook on the adjustable burner, here's how it works at Shabu Plus. I can grab pretty much whatever I want on the belt. Things like tofu, ramen noodles, fish balls, and cakes, wontons, spam and eggs, and a whole variety of vegetables. And you'll drop and cook those in your hot pot for a short duration of time. Like for example, these sweet potatoes you'll cook for about 5 minutes in your hot pot. But a lot of what you'll see takes almost no time at all. And as for your chicken, beef, and shrimp, all included in my package, you'll order that on this tablet, and it'll come out on a truck directly from the kitchen. Yeah, seriously. But with my soup boiling, I think it's time to get started. Now one of the first things I did was order beef from the truck to bring me, although I don't remember which one specifically. And while we waited for that to arrive, I helped myself to things on the belt, like these fish balls and this cheese fish tofu. But before you know it, choo choo, or honk honk. I don't know which is the proper sound effect here. Anyway, sometime after trying to figure out my camera setup, I let the beef cook in the pot. And after some cooking and a little sauce, <laughs> It was delicious. The fish cakes and tofu were pretty good too. Some flavors I was more used to than others, but honestly, everything was delicious. And yes, that is me cracking an egg into the pot. They had those too. So as you can see, I was clearly getting the hang of it and loving every minute of it too. I mean, how could you not? They were showing game shows on the TV. I love game shows. And I love spam too. And you could be for damn sure that's going in the pot as well. But after eating lunch and repeating the process over and over again, <coughs> you realize one thing. It's time for dessert, baby. Don't let me down, Keith. <coughs> and after that, you really feel like you accomplished something. So you have to take a bow. But let's go back to the alley to regroup. Okay, so we're back. Man, I ate so much that I think I'm ready to take a nap, but I'm not gonna take a nap because I have to go home and edit my interview with Jim Jenkins, the guy that created the Nickelodeon slash Disney show, Doug. That should already be in my channel now if you're interested, but... I don't think I have to question whether I got my money's worth. <laughs> well, I better get home. In the meantime, let's see what the wrangles angle is on this one. 
Honestly, I found Hot Pot to be delicious. That's right. I guess you could say I really enjoyed it. The food was great. Getting to cook it in the pot in front of you was a lot of fun, too. Hot Pot is definitely something I'm going to do again. So I'm definitely going to say I recommend it. As far as Shabu plus Rotary's particular way of doing it, I'd say, well done. The all-you-can-eat conveyor belt was perfect for a big guy like myself. I mean, keep it coming. And the semi-truck train, whatever you want to call it, Oh, man. With that, the great service and the clean bathrooms, because you gotta mention that, I'd say Shabu Plus Rotary is definitely doing Hot Pot proud. And if you want to experience Hot Pot, you should go there. I'm definitely gonna recommend Shabu Plus Rotary, and that is the Wrangle Zangle on that one. All you can eat hot pot. Man, oh man. I think I could definitely safely say I did get my money's worth. Interesting though, because Shabu Plus Rotary did have a 90 minute time limit. And I'm sure there's people that would say, well, Keith, just stay there and play it till the very end. Or until they kick you out. But trust me when I say there are really times when you just can't eat anymore. And that is the Wrangles angle on that one. Big special thanks to Shabu Plus Rotary for letting me come in and try Hot Pot. I certainly hope any other Hot Pot place I go to will be just as good. And if you enjoyed today's episode, you'll really love the time me and two friends went into the city again to try the supposed best burger in America. And you'll find that on my channel. So don't forget, we got more videos for you to watch on YouTube and Facebook. Remember, either way, it's dot com slash Wrangles Angle. And when you're there, don't forget to hit subscribe, because we got more videos for you on the way, including food videos, because, as you can see, people just love it when I talk about food. And also, we finally got Wrangle Zangle t-shirts! That's right, Kofi.com slash Wrangle Zangle is the official place to get official Wrangle Zangle merchandise like the official Wrangle Zangle t-shirt. And when you're there, don't forget that you could also leave me a cash donation because Wrangle Zangle is free, and I like it that way. Just remember that your purchases and donations help me to make more of the content you love. So consider leaving me a one-time or monthly donation today. And yes, monthly donations can be canceled at any time. It's all waiting for you at Kofi.com slash Wrangle Zangle. That's KO-FI.com slash Wrangle Zangle. And we finally got those new t-shirt designs for 2024, so what the hell are you waiting for but uh before we go before you go watch more of my videos you know what this being my first angle of the year i thought i'd leave you with some wrangles angle words of wisdom to use in 2024 we'll see you next time folks take it easy this 2024 or any year for that matter continue to better yourself and also get rid of anybody in your life that doesn't value you or treat you nicely it'll be tough at the end of the day but you'll be glad you did and that is the wrangles angle on that one all right so right now i have a list of every toxic person i have ever met over the course of my life i'm just gonna put it in this envelope and Don't worry, if you're afraid your name was on this list, that was just a bunch of squiggles. That, and maybe stop being so toxic. Disqualified.